A little over five years ago, I was just like you. I was trying to learn how to code just by watching online videos, taking online courses. And I wrote my first line of code at 32 years old, had no prior programming experience, just wanted to do a career change and was interested in this. And I wanted to create a quick video in this beginner course going over my story, just to show that like, again, I didn't start coding till I was 32. I had no prior programming experience and I've done very well for myself. And I don't say that to brag. Again, the point of this video is to show you, you know, somebody that was in your shoes and that has done it. So like I said, I've been an iOS engineer for about five years now, just about all of which was spent in San Francisco in Silicon Valley. How I got interested in all this is I was working for a startup out there as a growth lead sales type stuff. And uh, I just became friends with our engineers because it was a small team, small startup. And I uh, started asking questions about what they were doing and, and just about coding in general. And to be honest with you, and I hope this doesn't come off as arrogant, but after getting to know them and seeing what they did, I was like, I'm just as smart as them. There's no reason I can't do that. So I started exploring, started Googling, doing online videos, YouTube, uh, you know, buying online courses. Again, I was exactly where you are right now. So when I started learning, it was early 2015. Uh, by summer of 2015, I did an iOS developer bootcamp. Now I know what you may be thinking. Well, you know, boot camp is great. That's what that's what gave you that head start. But now that I've done the boot camp and I, I've you know created tutorials, like you don't you just learn the very basics in the boot camp. Like everything I learned in the boot camp is in like super beginner online YouTube videos, right? The benefit of the boot camp for me was forcing myself to work on it for eight hours a day, right? Because you got to be there for two months, eight hours. So that was the huge benefit of the boot camp. Not I got crazy good knowledge or crazy good teachers. It just forced me to do it. But my bootcamp was a good experience. I liked the people I graduated with. We ended up building a, an app called Fit Hero, which I really, really like. You're seeing some screens of that. Thought it was pretty cool. And about a month and a half after the bootcamp, I got hired at my first real iOS developer job. So now we're talking November, 2015, uh, at a, a company called Breathometer. They were on Shark Tank. They were the first company to get all five sharks to invest. I think they got like a million dollar investment. This was back in 2013. That was a pretty big deal for the time. But I got that job not for my developer skills, and I'll tell a quick story. Uh, so I basically did the uh, the phone screen interview, failed miserably, did horrible. And I found out later, they're like, yeah, we put you in the no pile, like we were already moving on. But what I did was I showed a little bit of initiative. I emailed them and said, hey, look, uh, I know I didn't do well on that. Uh, do you have a take home project that I could do, something I could work on that I can really showcase my skills? Because I know as somebody without a CS degree and just a boot camp grad, I know I have to prove myself even more. So I would love to, to do a take home project and, and show you what I can do. That was basically the email. And uh, they said, sure. And long story short, I did the project. They loved it and I got hired. So I guess the tip there is don't be afraid to show some initiative. But anyway, I got hired there again in San Francisco and I was making $60,000, which again, when you talk about salary, that is different all over the world. I get it. But for San Francisco, right, Silicon Valley, $60,000 for an engineer is like well below minimum wage. But I took it because again, I, I had applied to 60 companies. I wasn't getting any jobs. Like it, it was rough getting that first job. So I was like, I just need somebody to take a chance on me. I know I can get in there, you know, prove myself and I'll ask for a raise in like six months. Like that was my plan. Like, cause I knew I would get in there and perform. Like I had confidence in myself. And within a month and a half of working there, my VP of software, my boss kind of pulled me aside and was like, I'm working on a raise for you. Like you deserve it. We, we need to pay you the just market rate. It wasn't like I was getting superstar money, but just market rate. Cause 60,000 was not market rate. Long story short, like a series A funding, like delayed it and delayed it and delayed it. Um, anyway, I ended up getting uh, 100K by May of 2016. So I'm six months in to my first ever job and I crossed the six figure mark. And again, I don't say this to brag. I say this to just let you know what's possible. So I worked at Prothometer for about a year and a half. And then I left there to start interviewing at some of the major companies in Silicon Valley, right? The Facebooks, the Apples, the Googles. Naively, I thought I was ready, right? After just a year and a half of basically on the job training, uh, I thought I was ready. So I went out and did all those interviews. Uh, I got my butt kicked, uh, basically just failed all those interviews. It was a great experience. And I did get interviews at all these companies, but you know, when I got to a final interview or a whiteboarding session, I got my butt kicked, but it was a good rude awakening. And it actually led to the creation of my YouTube channel that many of you are probably familiar with because I wanted to show my knowledge rather than wait on an interview. I wanted to just put all my knowledge out there by making videos, become a well-known name in the space. And that, that was kind of the whole point of the YouTube channel. But during this time of me getting my butt kicked at interviews, 
I picked up some contracts on the side because I had quit Brothometer. I wasn't working. I was focused solely on interviews. And as I'm getting my butt kicked in the interviews, I started picking up more and more contracts and was like, you know what? Let me try contracting, right? I got enough to support me. So for the next year and a half, I did independent contracting, which was great. I say that was like the time where I learned the most because in independent contracting, I bounced around from project to project like every three or four months. Uh, so I got a lot of experience and a lot of exposure to different code bases, different types of apps, et cetera. So that's when my learning really skyrocketed. And again, at that point, I'm already a year and a half into my career before my learning skyrocketed. So just keep that in mind. So after working remotely by myself for about a year and a half, quite frankly, I started getting bored and lonely. Like I never left my apartment. So I was yearning to get back on a team. So in April of 2018, I joined Aluna, which was great because I got the opportunity to build a product and build the app from scratch. And it had like a video game element to it. So it was kind of building like, you know, the economy of the game. Should we implement daily quests? So that was a ton of fun. And I, I worked there full time up until July of 2019. I'm still there to this day in more of a part time consultancy role because I'm, I'm there to like help them make sure the app launches correctly and smoothly. But uh, I'm not there full time anymore. Now, I left Aluna back in July of 2019 because I wanted to do one of two things, right? I was kind of at like a, a crossroads in my career. Because I'd spent all my time either independent contracting or at small startups, I never got that experience at a big company like the Googles, the Facebooks, Apples, etc. So I really thought I wanted that on my resume. And it's not that I wanted to work at a big company. Like I wanted the, the clout, the prestige, if you will, of having that on my resume so that could potentially open up doors for my future. So looking back on it, I kind of wanted to work there for the wrong reasons. Uh, long story short, I could either go big company or pursue this YouTube thing full time because, I, you know, I've been building this YouTube channel, you know, during, at this time for like two and a half years. It was growing well. I could see the business opportunity there. So my choice was big company, do my own thing. And I was actually in pretty serious talks with PayPal. I was in the interview process with Twitch. And right in the middle of all that, I decided I'm going to pursue my own thing and, and do this YouTube thing full time. So that was back in August of 2019. I, I made the full time leap. And here we are, right? The YouTube channel is going very well. I'm putting out courses for the community, creating all kinds of content for the community. Uh, I'm very happy with my decision, right? I work for myself. I get to work on fun projects, whatever I think will help my YouTube business. Uh, it, it's just a blast. So I was able to take this skill that I learned, this iOS development, building products, and parlay that over five years into now working for myself. Again, the, the biggest benefit of that is I get to work on what I wanna work on, right? If I have a cool idea, I work on it. And as of March of 2020, it has already surpassed my Silicon Valley developer salary, and we're still just getting started. So I don't say that to brag. I, I, I wanted to share my story just to show you how great this career is and this skill is and all the flexibility and the things you can do. Like, the multiple career paths you can take with this skill, it's just amazing. In fact, I got a whole video later in the course talking about all the different paths you can take to really you know, fit your lifestyle. So that's my story. And again, I wanted to share that to hopefully inspire you. Uh, of course, you're not gonna follow my path directly. You're gonna create your own path, but the beauty is you have so many options. That path can take you so many different places. So let, let's, just, let's just get on to learning this stuff.